Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss the third problem of Lit Code Weekly Contest 436, uh, which is count substring divisible by last digit. So the problem statement is quite straightforward. What is the problem statement? We are given a string a sub uh, consisting of digits from 0 to 9. We have to return the number of substrings which, which is divisible by their last non-zero digit. Uh, by their non-zero last digit. It is different from last non-zero digit. Uh, so what is the difference? Uh, so uh, let's say we have something like 1 to 0. So last non-zero digit means 2. But this uh, we don't have to consider this uh, substring. We don't have to consider this substring. Why? Because their last digit is non-zero. Uh, last digit is 0. So we don't have to consider this substring. Okay. So that is the difference between last non-zero digit and uh, non-zero last digit okay I hope you get it uh, now we have to find the count of uh, substring such that the substring is divisible by their last uh, non-zero last digit okay so let's take the first example 1 to 9 3 6 okay so let's take one smaller example first so let's say our uh, uh, string is 1 to 6 okay. so what are the substring of this the substring of these are 1 2 6 uh, 1 2 2 6 and 1 2 6 okay 1 2 6 now which substrings are divisible by their non zero last digit this uh, only one length substrings is always divisible by their uh, last digit so 1 2 6 is uh, one then uh, for uh, two digit two digit substring 12 is divisible by 2 so this is one 26 is not divisible by 6 so we can't take this 1 26 is divisible by our uh, 6 so we have total 6 so our answer will be 6 okay now how to solve this problem so the obvious way to solve this problem is to iterate over every substring in order of n square iterate over every substring in order of n square and find that the substring is divisible by their last digit or not so this problem is solvable in order of n square in brute force way so but length of n uh, length of s is 10 to the power 5 so our order of n square solution will not uh, surface okay so we have to think something better so how we can solve this problem like uh, we will try to solve a sub problem of this. We will try to solve this problem separately for each digit. Okay, so let's say our one sub problem. How I have solved this problem, uh, I am going to explain you. There are other ways to solve this problem also. You can uh, take a look at the lit code uh, solution section, but I will explain my way to solve this problem. So, my way to solve this problem is that uh, I am taking one sub problem. Sub problem is that uh, starting from index i, starting from index i. Uh, with last digit d what are the possible substring so uh, let me write it i comma d means uh, starting at index i index i uh, with last digit d last digit d count of substring okay that is um, my solution okay that is my uh, recursion state you can say okay so how we are going to get this i comma d okay so we are starting at index i that means we can't do discontinuation okay we can't do discontinuation that means that we have taken i digit i plus one digit and uh, we let's say we just ignore i plus two digit that is not possible because uh, our substring will start from index i okay so this is a uh, quest it for right mm, uh, i comma d so initially our reminder reminder will be zero okay second parameter let's say our in our recursion state first parameter is i second parameter is reminder zero initially and third parameter is digit okay third parameter is digit okay now uh, let's say we are taking the this ith character okay so after taking the ith character this is not exactly recursion or you can say this is recursion only uh, so after taking the ith digit uh, this will be i comma si modulo d Okay, I will take one example and make you understand. Uh, I, SI, and D. Okay, SI modulo D and D. So let's say 123. So we are taking the first character. Initially, our reminder is 0, and let's say our, uh, this is uh, 3. Okay, initially, our reminder is 0, and la uh, last digit is 3. So we are taking uh, 1. Okay, the first character 1. So uh, we will move to the index 1. Initially, it will be 0, 0, 003. Okay, 0, 0, 003. And we are taking the first character which is 1 okay so our reminder will be 1 our index will be 1 and last digit will not change 3 okay now after that we are taking the second digit uh, 2 okay so our uh, remainder will be 1 plus 2 3 modulo 3 will be 0 okay 
so our digit will be two zero and three now after taking third uh, digit also we'll move to out of bound three zero plus three modulo three is also zero and our last digit is zero uh, three okay so when we are out of bound we'll check that it, our divider is zero or not then we'll return one okay so you're thinking that uh, we're just doing it for uh, starting at every index we are just uh, going to each and every substring how will it help it is just going to be order of n square no it will not be order of n square why because we will uh, use memorization also uh, with this along with this we will also use a memorization so how does memorization help here because you can see that we have in the recursion state we have three variables okay in the recursion state we have three variables that means we let's say we are starting at starting with any starting index let's say one two three four we bound to reach one recursion state we will bound to reach one recursion state and it may be possible that the recursion state has arrived earlier also how because uh, why it will going to help us let's say in the recursion state we can also take two variables starting with i and ending with j this could also be a recursion state i comma j but here in the recursion state total number of possibilities are i could be starting position could be from 0 to n and j is a starting position could be from i to n so overall time complexity for, for this recursion state is nothing but order of n square but we have formed one better recursion state right why because i could be from 0 to n so total number of possibilities for this recursion state is order of n into uh, what is the re reminder reminder could be from 0 to d only so d what is the possibility of d so the possibility of d digit last digit could be from 0 to 9 or 1 to 9 so we can say this is a total number of possibilities here is 10 let's write 10 here instead of 9 and uh, uh, this reminder from could be from also 0 to d so this is also 10 so our, our overall time complexity comes from n squared to 100 n. 100 n is definitely better because n is 10 to the power 5. So we have found a better recursion state uh, with overall complexity of 100 into n. So uh, we'll start from each and every index, but sometimes we'll find that our recursion state is already computed in the some previous stage. Okay, I hope you are getting it. You can try to form a recursion uh, recursion tree. Uh, every recursion is a tree right you might have heard about recursion tree so uh, let's say we are starting uh, we, we have already computed this branch okay we have already computed this branch and let's say we are starting from some above branch okay we are starting from the above branch and we will get to this branch only so we don't have to go to the end of this branch we can just return the answer from here okay that's how recursion works that's how memorization works and our overall time complexity will uh, reduce from uh, n square to 100 into n so let's jump into the code you will understand it better okay so by recursion state is first uh, is uh, the index second is reminder and the third one is the last digit okay now uh, this part is we are initializing the entire dp the line number 21 we are initializing the entire dp with minus one and uh, for every starting uh, uh, digit uh, starting index and for every last digit we are calling it uh, we, we are calling the recursion for the start index j and the last uh, digit i okay now it comes come to the recursion part okay so if the last index uh, we have exceeded the limit we have returned zero you can do it differently also the logic is same and this part is memorization uh, if the state is already computed we are returning the answer for the state okay now current digit is si minus zero now uh, our new remainder will be remainder into 10 plus car now why this part is uh, I think you will understand but uh, I have not explained in my uh, explanation so let me try to explain it 126 right so initially a remainder will be what remainder I think I have made one mistake here also please uh, uh, forgive me for that mistake 123 I am I was just adding uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 because the last digit is 3 that's why I am taking the some of the digits as remainder also but for others like for 7 9 anything uh, we have to take uh, the entire thing modulo and that right so so initially our remainder is 0 when we are at index 1 we are adding 1 uh, when we are at the second index we, we have to multiply 10 with the remainder right 1 into 10 I think you all have done this uh, in any part of your course so 1 into 10 plus 2 okay uh, now the remainder will be 12 modulo 6 
okay 12 modulo 6 which is 2 now after that uh, our new event previous inventor was 12 and we have to now multiply it again so we have to 12 into 10 plus 6 so after the third index our remainder will be 126 modulo 6 i hope you are getting it that's why uh, our new remainder will be nothing but previous remainder into 10 plus car uh, current digit modulo d okay now if a current digit is d and the new remainder is 0 that means uh, <coughs> substring ending at the current index substring ending at the current index is 0 then uh, we are incrementing the value of answer because we have found one substring okay now otherwise uh, not otherwise uh, we'll just increment the value of index and we'll try to find the another substring so is i plus one new remainder comma d okay and at the end we are returning the answer i hope you are getting it how we have reduced the time complexity from order of n square to 100 into n i'll provide the link of the code also in the description box if you have any doubt in any part of the code or explanation you can always ask in the comment section i'll try to reply each and every comment if you find this video helpful please like the video subscribe to the channel and also share among your peers Thank you.